It's been such a long time since I've seen you all and I'm missing you. I hope you're keeping well. Since we can't be at school, I thought I would bring our classroom to you. I know this doesn't look like our green group classroom because this classroom is in Mrs. Cox's house. Oh my goodness me. Well, this is going to have to be our classroom for a few weeks while we're still at home because of the coronavirus. So I hope you're going to come and sit and join me. Come and sit down. Let's sit nicely. Remember, cross your legs and sit up straight. That's it. Shall we do our morning ring together? Can you join with me? What day of the week is it today? Do you remember? What's the start of our first day of the week for school? That's right. It's Monday. Monday today. Monday, the start of our school week. So today, we're going to be doing lots of fun things. What comes after Monday? What's the next day? What's coming tomorrow? Can you tell me? I can't hear you. That's it. It's Tuesday. Tomorrow is going to be Tuesday. So today is Monday and tomorrow is going to be Tuesday. Have you had a peep outside the window today? It's been kind of nice and sunny and warm. So shall we look at our weather chart and find our Mr. Sun? There's our Mr. Sun. Let's take him off. And we're going to put him here on our weather chart. Do you think it's just a little bit warm? Is it very warm today or is it hot, hot, hot today? I think today's gonna be a nice warm day. Not too, too hot. We'll have to wait and see later. So we'll move him up to our warm and our hot over here. Okay, now who remembers what month we're in? Ah, can you remember? Let's start from the beginning. January, February, March, April. That's right, we're in April. Can you see them here? January, February, March, April. There's our little cupcake. It is the 20th of April today. While we were on our lockdown and at home, we missed Kara's birthday. So can you all send her hugs and kisses and happy birthday wishes? Kara, I hope you had a really fantastic, super duper birthday. Right, let's start with our day with a little bit of our songs. Have you been practicing them in the holiday? Mrs. Cox might need a little bit of help today. Can you help me with them? Shall we do open and shut them? Good. Right, let's get our hands ready. Up you go, stretch those fingers tight, tight, tight. Close them, open them, close them. There we go. So let's do open them shut them open them shut them give a little clap open them shut them open them shut them lay them in your lap right i've forgotten the words you're gonna have to help me creep them creep them creep them just all the way up to your chin open up wide <gasps> but don't put them in uh-uh no 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 don't put them in Roll them, roll them, roll them just like this. Shake them, shake them. Blow a little kiss. Right, well done. Give yourselves a clap. That was such fun to do those exercises again. I hope your fingers are feeling nice and strong. So our next song we're going to do today is Hocus Pocus. And I think I need a little bit of a reminder from the words. You're going to have to help me, okay? Are you ready, dinosaurs? Let's go. Hocus pocus, plodding through the swamp. I'm a diplodocus. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Grass for breakfast. I can eat a tree. Grass for lunch and dinner. And grass for tea. Right. I'm a diplodocus, plodding through the swamp. Hocus pocus mocus. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Well done, guys. Who remembers what plodding means? Who's plodding through the swamp? I can hear. Yes, you're right. Well done. Plodding through the swamp. He's scavenging. He's searching for some food. Is he going to eat you? No. He's a vegetarian, isn't he? A diplodocus only eats the grass and the leaves off the trees. And we meet, so he's not going to eat meat. He's a vegetarian. Right. Are you a mean old dinosaur? Okay, let's see those mean 
faces, here it goes. I'm a mean old dinosaur, big and tall. Here is my tail, and here is my claw. Show me your claw. Well done. When I get all hungry, I just growl. Look out, kids. I'm on the prowl. What's the prowl mean? Yes, I'm coming to get you. That's right. Good. Right. Now, that's our morning songs this morning. Are you going to help me count? Let's see if we can count up to 25 today. Let's start off at the beginning. But I need to hear you. If I don't hear you, I come, how am I going to make sure you're counting? So come on, join me. Let me see your fingers. Today we're just going to do our fingers, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Well done, guys. Give yourselves a pat on the back. 25. Well done. Did you use your fingers? Did you feel them stretching out today? Good. Because later on today, we're going to do an activity and I need you to remember your pinches. Show me your pinches. That's right. Peter Pointer and Tommy Thumb. There they are. Can they put pinch together? Pinch, pinch. Say hello to each other. Pinch them. That's right. Then we're going to use this middle finger. Tommy Tall. All three of them together now. All three of them. Pinch, pinch. Say hello. Are you using all three picture fingers? Well done. So this morning, what you're going to do to me is we're going to have some fun. You're going to have to ask mom and dad to get some newspaper. I'm sure you can find some newspaper around your house or any type of paper that you can tear. But I need you to use all three of your fingers, your pinches and tummy tall, to use those fingers to tear. Remember how we do that? I know you remember. Show your moms and dads how clever you are. So what we're going to do, I'm going to turn this way. So we're going to put our thumbs together. They're saying hello at the top. And our two fingers behind. And we're going to pull in the opposite direction, remember? And we're going to tear the paper all the way to the end. Can you do that? I know you can. Let's try it again. Put our thumbs in the front and our fingers behind. See? That's what we're doing. Our baby and ruby ring are curled all the way up at the back. They they're being lazy today. They're having a holiday. So let's tear the paper all the way to the end. That's it. Let's keep going. Let's tear all the way long strips. The longer the strips, the better. All the way to the end. Well done. Then when you've finished, and you've got lots and lots of lots of strips, maybe about 20, what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of paper, we're going to squish it up in our hands. Come on, use those finger muscles. That's it. Roll it like a ball. Can you see my ball? And then what I'm going to do is you can go and stand in the lounge or outside somewhere in the sun where it's nice and warm. And we're going to get a container. I've got a dustbin. And you're going to stand away from it. And you're going to use your pieces of paper that you've rolled into balls. And you're going to throw them in the bin. Let's see. Do you think I can get them in without missing? I think so, because I think I'm a little bit close. It's like cheating, isn't it? But you're going to stand a little bit away. Ask mom to give you a container. You can throw all your newspaper balls. Squish them, squish them tight. Roll them, roll them. And you're going to throw them into the basket. Okay? Do you think you can do that for me today? Send me a photo. Let me see you've done that. I know you're going to be a superstar. And I'll chat to you a little bit later. Bye.